Hello. Get my sandwich out of the way. It's Michael Gaffney. Today I'm in Dallas. We had a great week of designing with utterly, unbelievably spectacular work. I was laughing. I couldn't believe there's a couple of them today that were the most perfect designs that I've seen in years and years, uh, 10 years. They were that perfect. They were that good. They've only been designing a week with me. And talk about natural born design stars. Oh my God, they were fantastic. So I'll only try and do as well as my students do. Because whatever I'm putting in that water and they're drinking, it's working. Their designs were perfect. They were spectacular. They were high end. They were chic. They were elegant. They were, oh my God, so much different than the stuff I see on other websites that's going for trending and, and it's sort of a hot, messy, you know, you know the look. These were, every flower is where it should have been. They created a beautiful portrait of a collection of flowers for um, any really celebration. Um, I will be posting them on my Facebook and Instagram and you have to look at them because they probably won't show as well on film, but you'll see. They, these people have only been here for a week with me and you know, they sometimes don't listen, I wonder. Sometimes they, they're looking around and then on Friday when I make them do their own weddings, kaboom! <laughs> and I warned them, I said on last Monday, I said they're going to be different on Friday. Like they're going to happen in this classroom. Um, I swear magic happens in my classroom. This work today was unbelievable. I, I know designers who have been designing 20 years haven't done pieces so perfect as the ones I saw today. Every little, they, they caught every arch of a tulip going in the right direction as a group. Or they put just enough green without any flowers to create negative space in the design, create interest in that design. It, it was unbelievable. So I'm only going to try good. So today, or tonight, right, you can see outside it's getting dark out in Texas. I haven't seen an Amarillo yet. But anyway, uh, you're here to learn, so let me teach you some things. Uh, I, I mentioned talking about in other uh, videos, but these are hydrangeas. Make sure you get alum powder to soak your hydrangeas in because that will make the difference between night and day. When they go like this and start to fade, put them under water for an hour and a half and they'll go right back up. Next week, when they're starting to fade, put them under water, boom, they'll go right back up. Hydrangeas are a tricky one, but I've got some laying around, so I'll, I'll create something out of the leftovers. This is what we did all week. Here is the uh, Dutch Flemish design. Here is their hydrangea base, Victorian mat, English mass design. I'm going to come up closer so you can see this one up close. I know the lighting's not so great in here. Look at that. Um, they did a classic American centerpiece right here for Easter Sunday with a companion piece, a cute little side piece, classic American oblong centerpiece, a topiary of spectacular yellow lilies, and also this one, which was a contemporary piece using movement, you can see it, there's movement in the branches going that way, and very few flowers, there's about three flowers and a couple stems of, actually I gave some of my orchids away, it's missing a few, but that was a contemporary piece in a champagne bucket, we did early today, perfect for a gallery opening, contemporary art opening. So I'm just going to whip together something quick. I don't even know what I have left over. I've got some Veronica. I've got some Hypericum. I have some salmon color. I don't know if I'm on camera, but here I'm off to the side. I've got some salmon colored roses. And a little bit of you go. Oh, a whole bunch of oh, some. This is called lily grass or china grass. And uh, I found some uh, silver dollar you. So let's begin. Everybody asked me how to condition your flowers, by the way. You, there's nothing to conditioning flowers. I know that people go to great extremes in certain shops. I chop them, I put them in warm water, I leave the wrappers on when they come in. It's good to leave these on for about an hour and a half. It's also good to put them in darkness. Uh, did I do that? Not really. I just cut them, put them in warm water, and use them. So there is no large processing uh, way to go about it. 
We're going to start with a salmon rose. I'm going to do an English mass design right here. I'm going to collar that rose with some hydrangeas. They do take off the big leaves on these because they tend to suck up a lot of water. It's pretty already. I'm going to add another salmon colored rose. And I'm going to put some more hydrangeas, I mean, um, some hydrangeas around that one. It's pretty already. So we're doing like a little salmon colored. I'm going to switch hands, come from the other side. Put a salmon colored rose there. And more hydrangeas. Perfect, so you get that nice round shape. Here is the secret to this one. Every jury design has a secret. Don't do this, do this. Well, you can clean these off first. You know, I'm very lazy. I just rush into the design because I love it. Um, lay these sideways and lay them down here. Do not stack them like this. If it starts on one side, it exits on the other. These are really pretty salmon. Uh, like a Sahara. So I'm just going to pump in a bunch of Sahara roses. Like that. How long has this taken me so far? 30 seconds. Maybe we'll add another hydrangea, make it a little bit bigger right over here. Oops. I just did what I told you not to do. Sideways through your design. It's a little bit different shade of hydrangea, but we'll survive. Um, not more. Oh, I got one more um, tan colored rose. I think it's a Sahara. There we go. See the similarities? In a minute and a half. Then, I'm going to take some hypericum berry, throw some on the outside. Like a coloring effect, you don't want to hide these underneath. You want to make sure they're showing. When you look down, I call it a drone overview. You should always be looking down at your bouquet. See what I'm doing? And seeing that everything is visible. Nothing's hidden underneath. And then, I've got a little of this. This is interesting. It's, it's a new Gravilia. It's called Gravilia. G-R-A-V-I-L. And it's a, it puts a little wildness to your bouquet. A little Gravilia. Isn't that pretty? Let me see it. A little Gravilia. All the way around. And do I want some seeds? No. I'm tired of this. Uh, I like it, but I'm tired of it. Uh, seeded eucalyptus. Let's throw some, wow, this is a wild woman. We're gonna throw some lily grass in there. Flying up. There's a wild, there's a fashion model of bouquet. One of the bottles I work for in New York. This, is, this looks like something they would carry down the aisle with that hanging, fabulous lily grass. I'm gonna come up close and show you. It's a very pretty rose. There it is. I did that in a minute and a half. So can you, following my technique. I'm hypnotizing you. You are going to design this beautiful bouquet just like I did with that lovely... It's like a fringe jacket. Um, so there. Then we would wire it up and tie it and drop it into a vase. So, an easy breezy, uh, elegant design. Okay, see it. Let me put it into this light. Maybe because I don't know what the lighting is. Ah, here there's, there's uh, can lighting all over the, this place. I'm in a four-story townhouse that I rented to host classes because our other building was flooding and damaged. We're in Dallas where the winter storms were. So we had to host it in this beautiful four-story townhouse which has a rooftop. So we all ate lunch on top of the rooftop. So you never know where I'm going to show up or where you're going to be hosting, where I'm going to be hosting class. So anyway, what else can I tell you? We had a great week in Dallas. Everybody loves Dallas here. The big board, I'm in Bishop's Woods, if you're from Dallas, you know the area. We're right on the corner of 9th and Bishop's Woods. Happening, trendy, speaking of fringe jackets, I found an authentic 40s fringe jacket on the street in a thrift store. Uh, made out of tan, which you don't see very often, deer skin, cut short, fringe not long. It looks like uh, 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 Gianfranco designed it last week. It's from the 40s, so I bought that. That was my... That was my splurge item today. So, we're in Dallas. We're moving on to Houston next week. And then to Phoenix. The tour of the Southwest. Designing as we go. Turning ordinary citizens into un... But I can't tell you. You have to look. Um, the secret is... I don't want to say it, but I'm banned from Facebook for a month. Yes. Bad boy. I'm the bad boy. I said some things they didn't like. I was just defending Meghan Markle. 
If she was here, I'd give these to her. Anyway, uh, on to, on to um, Houston and then Phoenix. Uh, so if you want to join us, go to flowerschool101.com. I'm going to be posting uh, groups of flowers and designs on michaelsflowerfarm.com, as well as you can get all the online classes you want at flowerschool101.com or the ultimate online floral class. Um, either one. And remember, get some alum powder for your hydrangeas. Pour alum powder in a bucket, set your hydrangea, cut them, set them in there for an hour and a half, and then work with them. Alum is used for pickling and canning, and it keeps your hydrangeas alive for a week instead of, at least, instead of 20 minutes. And don't forget, I think one of my students kidnapped it. Uh, and I don't blame them. Crowning glory uh, on your arrangements. Come back, you know, I'm looking at these beautiful arrangements. I'm gonna go through them and, and just describe how we did them. Since I'm here in Dallas, I'm leaving tomorrow, I got nothing to do. Uh, I'll, I'll teach you some flowers and then I'll go out and get some ice cream at a shop called Melt on Bishop Street. So Michael Gaffrey saying keep blooming. And uh, keep riding, cowboy up. Uh, I should have my fridge jacket on. Maybe I'll wear it for the next segment. Come back, I'm gonna have it on. See you soon.